Well, we now know Children's Mercy Hospital treated more than 450 children presumed to have entero enterovirus D68. That's just since August. It's a respiratory illness that's sending children to the emergency room and even the intensive care unit. Shannon Halligan is live with why there's now concern about a shortage of medicine. Shannon? You're asked to wear a mask if you're going to come into contact with anyone who's infected with this virus. But since this is rare, doctors don't know how contagious it is. However, the CDC announced that there are 10 states now reporting this virus showing up in hospitals. 12-year-old Weston Guterman came down with the cough last Wednesday. His mom took him to his allergist Friday morning. They rushed him to the intensive care unit. Doctors here at Children's Mercy Hospital said as many as 30 kids come into the hospital with symptoms of this respiratory illness every day. Weston has a very mild form of asthma, but he said this virus was different. But that goes down really fast, so it was more a lot more constant, so it has a hard time going like progressing down so but we really only targeted our most severely ill patients at the very beginning of this to do the testing there I suspect that it, this is much more wide scale than what we're identifying we're like really tip of the iceberg here and we're probably tip of the iceberg throughout the United States too and doctors use albuterol and steroids to help these patients with their breathing. However, at one point, Children's Mercy Hospital ran low on those medications. They're fully stocked now, but with this virus spreading now to nine other states, doctors are worried that other hospitals are scrambling to get this medication as well. Live in Kansas City, Shannon Halligan, The Now KC.